via our phones, but mainly through social media. But today, I decided to go further and look at the harmful effects social media has on society, but mainly the impact it has on teens. These are top of the four social media platforms that we see every day. Together, they, make, they have a total of 3,540,000,000 users. That is almost half of the population in the world today. But what is the purpose of social media? Why do we use it? We use social media as a way to connect us to the world and around us. Social media is also a gateway for people to express who they really are to peers and to their friends. The graph on the slide represents the ages on who uses social media. Roughly 93% of kids who are between 12 and 24 years old use social media. So if you have a thousand teens in a room, only 70 people would not have social media. Now that we know how many teens are using social media, how much do they really use it? If you look at the graph, the uses of social media has almost doubled since 2012. Teens are checking social media more than once a day, and even 16% are always on it. Since the uses of social media is increasing, what are really the effects of social media? How is it impacting teens? When the Royal Society for Public Health did a study, they conducted a survey and they found that social media was the cause of um, increase of depression, anxiety, and loneliness and stress. <coughs> All right. The first negative effect is anxiety and depression. Roughly 40 million people are suffering from anxiety, and there are, only, and there are 264 million people suffering from depression. And you, can call, and you can blame social media as a cause for this. Social media causes anxiety and depression because whenever you receive a notification on your phone, your brain releases a hormone called dopamine. This hormone is also known as the feel-good hormone. But companies, they will hack your brain. They will hold back these notifications and they will push them out at a certain time. So you'll get an increase of notifications, which causes your brain to produce more and more and more dopamine, which, make you, which will make you feel happy. But when you don't have these notifications and the lack of dopamine, you get you, it starts causing anxiety, depression, and it'll make you shackled to your phone just waiting for that little boost of dopamine to come from social media. This shows the trend of the use of social media over, the t over 10 years. In, 20, in 2010, the use of social media started to grow and it kept on becoming more popular and popular as the years went on. This is the uh, American teen suicide rate. And at the 2010 mark, you could see that suicide in teens started to increase. You could blame social media to this because it's causing anxiety and depression in teens. The next kind of effect is the lack of sleep caused by social media. Social media has been blamed for uh, lack of sleep and mild insomnia, which, is, which one out of three people suffer from. Social media has also been blamed from for lack of sleep, because according to the CDC, Americans are only getting 6.8 hours of sleep. Because people are spending their nights scrolling, retweeting, or texting friends way too late, the blue light from their phones are messing up their sleep cycle, which causes them to sleep, uh, mess up their sleep cycle. Lack of sleep has shown that it causes even more anxiety, depression, stress, and a bunch of mental health issues. Without proper sleep, productivity will become low, and students will not do as well in school. Now, with a topic like lack of sleep, there are many factors that can vary these studies. But researchers have found that social media is not a cause of lack of sleep directly, but it's a correlation. So if you use social media at night, you're more likely to lose sleep. To make sure that social media does not eat into your sleep habits, try turning off your phone an hour before you go to sleep so the blue light does, is not there. Uh, the blue light will keep your brain awake and it'll throw off your sleep. Overall, the effects of social media are more negative than positive. It is awful that teenagers are having these mental illness, illness, illnesses over something that they think is so harmless. In order to make sure that you live in a free and happy life, try not sleeping with your phone in your room. Try limiting screen time to only one or two hours a day on your phone. When you have a little depression or anxiety, always reach out to someone and try to talk about it. Thank you for listening.